Hi folks, Racer here, 38 POS Racing. You knew that. We're going to be working on doing some floor pans in that car. Got to replace a little bit of the rear floor pan. The age has gotten to it. And I have two sections for the rear foot well area. I have another 59 that was cut out many years ago. I'm going to have to do a little repair here on it, but in most part, she's pretty solid. This is the driver's side, and there's a brace in here, under here. That's what these holes are about, as I cut that out. Now, this is the brace. I did a little bead blasting, cleaning up on it. But she's a little, maybe weak, here and there, in a little spot. And I'm going to put a reinforcing panel in there, a little piece in there. And uh, I'm going to try a trick that old Buck over at Buck Does It showed. I'm going to see how that looks. You can follow along if you would. He was, Buck was repairing some floor pans in his Cruda. Cool car. You ought to check it out. And he made the pattern for the patch with tape. With, duck, with masking tape. So what he'd do, he would lay it in there. Now I'm going to try see if I can do this. If I lay a, a pattern down in there with this tape, and then he would uh, he'd take this tape off and he'd lay it on his flat piece of sheet metal he was cutting for the for the patch and uh, he would transfer over but that was pretty cool so I'm gonna see how this works okay we got this laid out and I'm gonna cut this on the cut lines So that it hopefully will lay flat. Now we're going to peel it off there and see what we got. Now I know this is going to be a fairly straight edge, so I'm just going to stick it right up against this straight edge I already got. Well, I'm going to proceed to cut that out. You don't want to listen to that. Now I got it cut out. Still got my bend lines marked on there, but it's not going to fit, so I got to get that bent. I found this old nail that I think I'm going to use to get the curve in that bend because we don't need a sharp bend. Got that. I will uh, do a little hammering on there, and we'll see what we turn out with. Maybe it's you know first time, or probably not. Yeah, I think we got something there. We start tacking things in and manipulate the metal here a little and then a little here and have to grind her back on this edge. So fit up. This is where the rocker goes. This is the floor pan. We'll see how that goes. I think it I think it'll be alright. Okay, here we are back on the replacement brace. It's not a new one. It's a salvage one that uh, got cut out almost 40 years ago. Uh, it's got some weakness in it here. Uh, these are the flanges here that weld to the to the inner rocker panel. This is the seat bracket mount. Well, it's a little thin in here. I've gone through. I did some bead blasting. Did a little POR15 in here, and then I got some weld through primer. And I got these little pieces here that I'm going to slide in there, clamp the crap out of, and uh, weld them in there. I got to do a little forming as I go. Get, uh, say, this edge down where it's supposed to, and like that. But we're going to clamp it in there good, weld it down, 
and then it's all going to get POR15, except on the flange to the floor. That'll just get the spray primer, the weld through primer. Let's see, I got a little more cleaning up to do here, but uh, that'll help protect it probably as long as I need it to, and I believe that'll be pretty solid. So that's the next thing. We'll be back to this. Okay, we're back looking at this uh, floor brace. Got my patches welded in there. Don't look too close now. They're not the prettiest welds. They're not going to show. Got to dress some up where it's going to be around the floor pan and the rocker so it's not in the way. Never said I was a proficient welder. Maybe just sufficient. We'll get back to this. I'm going to do the, the poor POR15 prep and... It doesn't look like it works real great to try to weld very close to that. So the slobber over here, I got to clean that off and that'll be a different thing.